My name is Collier Spreen. I'm a Pro Audio Solutions Specialist with Avid. I'm here to talk a little bit about Pro Tools 11, which is about to be released. Being a 64-bit application, Pro Tools 11 actually takes the lid off all the, the limitations of what a 32-bit application had. You can access as much RAM as your computer has, you can access all the processes over your CPU, and you've got tons and tons of power, literally a quantum leap more powerful than what you've been used to. The resolution of the graphics is now retina level display, so everything is much crisper and graphically cleaner. For you guys mixing to picture or just getting into mixing to picture, uh, we've got a, a separate Media Composer video engine also built into Pro Tools now, as it takes the video load completely off the audio engine, but it also allows you to have multiple codecs. You can have full resolution 1080p video residing within Pro Tools and playback sunk perfectly up to Pro Tools. In addition to the Media Composer video engine, also is the new AAX audio engine, 64-bit, built into Pro Tools. We're, we're very excited at Avid to finally be in a 64-bit platform that utilizes only AAX plugins because the format allows parity, whether you're on a DSP system, a native HD system, or a non-HD native system at home, all the plugins are identical, whether they're running on hardware or native host, host processing. And there's actually a plethora of new plugin manufacturers on the scene that are developing AAX plugins. Uh, audio quality is enhanced, to say the least. Faster than real time or offline bounce, in other words, faster than real time bounce, we can bounce out multiple stems. Say you want to bounce out your program mix, dialogue, music effects, Foley, backgrounds, you can bounce out all those stems simultaneously at faster than real time. Uh, for your music composers, the ability to access more than the four gigs of RAM from a 32-bit app suddenly means you can open a 10 gig piano sample and a five gig drum kit and a two gig bass sample and have them all live running to the mix. Pro Tools HD has 17 different meter scales for metering, whether you want to look at PPM digital or linear extended or venue style metering, you have a choice. You've got K14, K18, K20 metering. You can actually have separate meeting on your master faders versus the rest of your session. Uh, a bunch of great keyboard commands, some bypasses for auxes, bypasses for EQs, dynamics, reverbs, modulation plugins, lots of great little shortcuts and displays. You can bounce now from multiple places. Uh, lots of great new features that uh, really push Pro Tools 11 over the top. Whether you're mixing in-house with satellite devices or all in one system, it really becomes a turnkey situation for both sound designing and cutting to picture. One of the biggest reasons we love dealing with dealers like Keycode Media is their technical expertise. They know what we're offering, they know what their clients need, and they know the solutions. For more in-depth information on Pro Tools 11, go to avid.com or check with our friends here at keycodemedia.com for an in-depth look at Pro Tools 11 and beyond.